I wanted to follow up my initial first impressions video with a more full review now of Uncut Gem. I've had it for almost a week and I've worn it several times. Overall, my first impressions I think are still accurate and I feel similarly. One thing that happens the first time you try a fragrance is it either feels more foreign uh, to you experiencing it the first time or instantly seems more similar to things you've already smelled. And I find that the more you wear something, the more you start to notice its own characteristics and the comparisons to other things fall away. It's not quite as weird as I uh, thought the first time. I think I wasn't used to the overall smell profile, I guess, of the ingredient they say they overdose here, ambrosinide. Um, but now that I'm used to it, I'd say it's not as challenging as things I mentioned like M ink, but it does have a similar, I think, kind of glassy, modern, synthetic smell to it. Overall, I still really like it. I think it doesn't smell designer at all. It doesn't smell like Ambroxan to me. It's a really interesting synthetic smell. And I think this represents kind of a new track for Frederick Mall that started with Rosé Queer, where it's almost as if uh, the fragrances are flipped on its head, where usually the, the formula would be to take precious natural ingredients and enhance those with synthetics. I feel like Rosé Queer, Synthetic Jungle, and Uncut Gem kind of do the reverse, where they take a synthetic substance at the heart and then they use naturals to um, sort of emphasize aspects of that synthetic ingredient. Um, now, I think this is really interesting. I don't think this is sort of the demise of Frederick Mall. I think it's a really interesting way to produce fragrances. I also think it's interesting that these three fragrances are done by completely different noses and they smell completely different but that you still sense a stylistic evolution in the Frederick Mall brand. Um, so almost like the way he's creative directing, he's going through artistic periods. So I think mainly the way, whether people like this or not, will depend on how they feel about this core ingredient. I looked it up on Fragrantica and found really interesting the, um, the definition of ambresonide. So it's a semi-synthetic material derived from a cedrine, which is isolated from Texas or Virginia cedar essential oil. This aroma material is produced by Simrise. It provides an extremely powerful and very sharp, dry, woody with ambery, slightly animalic and smoky agarwood tones. And I think that does a good job of describing this. Also of note is we often think of synthetic as something chemical or fake, but it's derived from cedar. It comes from wood. Um, and I think you can sense that its overall character is woody, but also warm, ambery, a little sweet, a little fresh. I get a little bit of the cedar aspect. Um, it also has quite a resinous aspect. So I found it interesting that they say it has agar wood tones. I never would have thought of calling this an oud fragrance. I don't think it has anything to do with oud, but I get that kind of resinous, almost the way you imagine like tree sap being very thick and sticky. Um, that's the sort of visual image I get. I think people who like Vetiver Extraordinaire and French Lover will like the dry down of this. Um, it's almost like their ambery, warmer cousin, I think. Um, it doesn't smell like those, but I think uh, Frederick Mull talks about the rugged masculinity of this, and I think it's masculine in a similar way. What's interesting to me is it doesn't seem it's such like a synthetic modern smell. I don't really attach it to masculinity or femininity, but I suppose in its sort of powerfulness, its woodiness, um, I can see that. And again, it's also not really rugged to me, um, maybe rugged in the sense of strong or unrefined, thus the name uncut gem. But to me, it's super smooth smell, not a rough smell at all. Um, it's not sharp or harsh. It has a little bit of a nose tingling pepperiness in the um, intro, but overall I think it's characterized by like ultra smooth warmness. I'll spray it here again, but I'm wearing it as well on my chest. I do plan to get the 100 ml just because the price difference in the US is too great. I didn't want to spring for it yet. So I'm using this for now and I'll order the 100 ml when it becomes